Okay, so we're going to summarize some of the key points we want to focus on for the A section of Papa George. Um, all right, so at the, at the very beginning, and every time we encounter this type of riff in the piece, which is a lot, you know, we have four notes descending in the beginning, right? So this note right here, the C sharp, we want to listen specifically for that note as we go to the next chord because we want it ringing together with the other chord tones. In fact, hopefully, the original starting note, this F sharp, is still ringing at that point too. So when we do this beginning part, like so, once we get to that point, all five of these notes should still be ringing together. But the main one we really want to listen for at this time is the B because that's the main one, Jake, that you're bumping into. Um, all right, so uh, that's what you want to listen for. Okay. All right, moving on from there. targeted this but anytime you're using the thumb once you play it it's going to tend to ring until the next percussive stroke because during the percussive stroke the um, palm is going to cut off that the, anything that's on the sixth and fifth string and that kind of thing but you know after we play the bass note we still play the, another chord we pluck the chord a second time. So at this point, all three of these notes should still be ringing. And it gets cut off finally there. And then when I do this right here, I have the open B and E string ringing, so when I come down here, I don't want to disturb that. Whoops. Uh, so when I come down here, they're still ringing. I hit this, these other tones should still be ringing. Now, coming back, you definitely have improved at this, so you just want to continue to listen very carefully to keep all of these notes ringing as clearly and as long as we can together. So you have to keep your fingers kind of tall, don't let them get too flat because then they'll hit other strings. we have this part. Now what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get you used to keeping the thumb pressed hard enough so that that bass note still rings even up through that uh, plucking after the hammer on. After that we have a percussive stroke at which point we'll dampen that string so it will no longer be ringing. But what we're noticing is that when you're doing the hammer on, you're moving your wrist a little bit too much, and this bass note is, is stopping. So what you need to do is concentrate on pulling, sort of pulling the thumb back on that uh, sixth string hard enough as you do the uh, hammer on. So when you do the hammer on, it's almost like all of the hand is kind of pulling back on the neck. So So everything should still be ringing, including the bass at that point. So you want to work on that. Whoops. Okay, and then we talked about that part. What we're trying to do here is after we do the strum, when we go to pluck the chord, we want to try not to set the fingers down early this time. Uh, so what we do not want to do is this. Okay. Instead, we want to let them ring, and then we come down sort of the last second, and, and don't make contact with the strings until you're actually plucking them. Like that. Okay, so that, that's good. That covers.